Hey guys, real quick before I start the video officially, I did want to give a shout out to uh, my friend Larry who has this awesome Christmas music called The, the Yule Lads. Um, and I'll leave his Spotify and his YouTube stuff in the info below, but it's basically like, if you're a little cashed out of typical Christmas music, it's like really cool alternative Christmas music. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really witty and it's really cool. Um, so go check that out. He didn't ask me to put this in here. I just wanted to put it out there because it's really cool music. So um, check that out. Okay, now I can start the video. Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and on this channel we do crafting and cocktails and cooking and once in a while I do um, what's called a tips talk. Although today I'm just drinking water because I'm really tired and I also just don't feel like having a cocktail. But um, I just thought I would come on here and reflect a little bit on 2021 and talk a little bit about what I'm looking forward to in 2022. So um, the beginning of the year was like off to a great start for YouTube because I had like all these views coming in all this other stuff um, some awesome collabs which was really cool that was at a ki good kickstart um, I was in like a weird spot personally on and off throughout this past year a lot of questioning like what's my purpose where am I going what do I want to do for a living all that kind of good stuff um, and if you were out in here if you've seen some of my talks before you know that I'm in graduate school for art therapy and counseling which I totally wholeheartedly still enjoy. School is also something that's been really awesome this year. Um, last like spring spring quarter was a lot of work but this past fall quarter um, was really awesome. A really great teachers, classmates um, and I rocked out the homework almost all on time except I think one, one assignment. <laughs> um, but school's been really awesome too and really eye-opening and it's teaching me so much about just people in general and life and how to approach different situations and you know just what the therapeutic process is like and finding new ways to heal and heal others. So that's been super awesome in 2021. Um, I got to meet a bunch of my classmates. Most of my schooling has been virtual so far, um, but I hosted a big potluck this summer and met a whole bunch of my classmates and a few of them I've gotten together with on and off, um, or here and there I should say, uh, throughout the year, so that's been kind of nifty. Um, I started volunteering at a therapeutic writing place. Um, which I've only volunteered at two or three times now, but they're uh, kind of closed per se for for right now just because the place that I volunteer it doesn't have like an indoor arena and they don't want people riding outside in the cold. Shocker, it gets cold here in New Mexico. Everyone thinks it's warm, but it's not. It's actually still pretty nice during the day and it's only snowed like once, um, but it gets real cold at night and early in the morning. Um, but there were other things in 2021 that weren't as awesome. Like I went through three, four jobs, three jobs, I'm not sure, um, which sucks. So I've almost never had any job less than two years. And so since moving to New Mexico, I just moved here like almost a little less than a year and a half ago. Um, to pursue my studies and it's been really tough finding like a good fit for a job um, you know yeah that's all I'm gonna say I think but um, there's been some opportunities that I thought I wanted that didn't work out there were some that were awesome but had other stuff going on that really wasn't healthy for me um, and so now <laughs> I'm at Girls Inc., which is really cool. It's a national org, but there's a chapter here in Santa Fe and it helps empower young women um, or anyone who identifies as a woman or as a woman who is transitioning. Um, we accept pretty much all pronouns, which I shouldn't say pretty much. But anyways, it's just to empower uh, young, young people, which is really awesome. So I just started doing that a few weeks ago and I'm looking forward to the future there. Um, cause it seems like a really awesome org and the team is really cool and like tight knit and just a bunch of goofballs, which is also really fun. So, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, the future at Girls Inc and see how that goes. So it's been fun. 
Um, I've also been doing a ton of babysitting, which has been also really fun because when I left my last job, I was really hanging on because I really thought I was really going to miss the kids. I was working at like a daycare and preschool and it was really tough to leave them. But I've been very fortunate that lots of parents have reached out and I get to snuggle and hug and play with their kids still. So that's been really awesome uh, amidst all this tra crazy transition time. Um, so I am thankful for the opportunities I have had. I've also been face painting at different events, um, which is also really fun. I love face painting and just making people happy. Um, I think I talked about this in my last talking video. I can't remember, but I just, I, I found that I think what my purpose is, or what I want to do with my life, is make people happy, which I know that sounds super simple and probably cliche, but I just feel like all the work I do is to make people happy. Like, I love face painting because it makes people happy. I love doing cool stuff with kids because it makes them smile, or hosting events to see the family come together, or, um working with kids and families who just need a little extra love in their lives and need that extra boost to cheer them up. So, um, and I love cooking, I love entertaining, I love making drinks. Like, all these things for me have, have been this compiled, like, idea of just, like, making people happy. Like, using all my talents to make people happy. I mean, out there being counseling, right? I'm help, trying to help you heal and figure out your stuff. You know, it's not all just like, oh, it's an instant gratification smile thing. Anyways, still in the hunt of how that's all going to mix together and become the dream job. But that's okay. I'm in school. I'm not super worried about it. Um, other craziness in 2021. My apartment building got bought out and then the new owners are trash. Um, yeah, they super raised prices. Things don't really get fixed. A lot of my neighbors moved out because of it. So that's been a little crazy, especially because we intentionally picked this apartment because it was affordable for us and they bumped up our price 150 bucks and incoming people have to pay an additional $300. So that's a little bit scary and they didn't even like give me my, they didn't even tell us until it was like a week before our lease was up. Which was crazy. Anyways, hot mess there. But we hope, sorry, I'm moving. We're hoping eventually in the next couple years we can have a home, like a house home. Um, but we're obviously are working on saving up, getting all our ducks in a row. Um, but that is definitely like a short, I don't know if it's short term or long term, but within the next two years I would really love to have like an actual house. Um, so I guess I'll transition into that. Let's talk about 2022. Um, some of my goals are to still make friends, which was my goal last year. <laughs> um, it's just been really hard making friends, man. Who knew? I mean, I guess when you move across the country in a pandemic, it's probably pretty hard. But just like with virtual class and stuff too, you know, you don't have those extra moments to like eat lunch together, hang out on break, or like all of that. I do have some friends here. It's not like I don't have any, but, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to find my crew, you know? Um, financial stability is always on the wish list. So, finger crossed for that. <laughs> for both of us, uh, for myself and my honey, um, who just started his own tree care business, which is really exciting. But again, with starting your own business, there's some dry spots. So, Wishing it for both of us, for sure. Um, I would say travel more. However, A, I'm broke. B, I'm already traveling because I'm in two weddings next year, which I'm really excited about. That'll be awesome. Two of my best friends are getting married. That's going to be a lot of fun. One is in Wisconsin, which is where we moved from, so I'll get to visit family and watch my best friend get married. And then my other best friend's wedding is in June in St. Thomas. So that's exciting. I've never been there. That'll be cool. Um, so I guess I can check traveling off the New Year's list because I'm going to have to either way. <laughs> um, what else? I probably should have written this up. I hope to continue exploring how to combine my talents to create this said dream job. I don't know. There's just so many things I'm interested in. 
I just don't want another like five years to pass by and be like, oh, I could have started something then and then I'd be here, but now I'm starting it late because I couldn't figure it out. However, this has been like an ongoing thought process for many, many years, but now I'm like, holy crap, I'm going to be 30 in June of 2022. Figure your stuff out, girl. I'm super not looking forward to turning 30. Nope. <laughs> Zero percent. But that's okay. I honestly live in like a 24 year old mind. Like in my head I'm like always, I wouldn't say 24, maybe like 26. I feel like I'm 26 just all the time. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Uh, if you have ideas of how to make being 30 way more fun, or exciting or less nerve-wracking please leave them in the comments down below um i also hope to continue doing well in my studies this past quarter was awesome like i said and i was really able to manage everything and not get super overwhelmed other than like here and there so i'm hoping to continue that streak like i can't tell if it was because the professors were awesome or maybe it was just like the workload wasn't as much as other classes or if i'm maturing i don't know so i'm hoping to still like rock it out and not get super overwhelmed and stressed um and i think just to i don't know how to describe what i'm going to say um to continue like just exploring and enjoying life I think like do more things that I like or try new things um, I guess it's the best way to phrase it yeah um, and then in terms of YouTube my goal I think is just to be more authentic and present um, I've really been slacking on being on time I think I just gotten bogged down and overwhelmed by like like emotionally exhausted from like changing jobs and then starting school and then this and then it's just like a lot and because I'm not quite yet monetized but we're almost there um I just kind of put it on the back burner to be honest so hoping to be more consistent oh definitely hoping to get monetized if not before then but definitely at least in 2022 which would be super awesome um yeah, I would love to have that like extra income just to help support again like what I want my long term thing to be something with making people happy and community and helping people. Perhaps food and drinks. I don't know. I don't know. I just there's something out there like I can feel it in my soul. I just don't know what it is. So anyways, um, yeah, and I want to be more authentic on here with you guys. I've definitely went through like this phase since starting YouTube, but, like not recently, but of just kind of making things because I felt like I needed to or I felt like people would like that style like not always just once in a while I've been pretty ge like uh, genuine to my own style most of the time um, but I want to keep up with that like I really love doing the wearable DIYs I want to do another paint with me that was really cool um, so just like I think exciting myself about continuing to make mo videos by doing things I really enjoy and cooking I'll probably bring in more cooking so I know this channel is kind of a hot mess because we do a little bit of a, a, a little bit of everything, but honestly, that's what I like about it. I like that it offers a lot of variety. Maybe that's not for everybody, but I enjoy it for me, and I'm staying authentic to what I want for this channel, I suppose. So, um, if you've got any fun ideas that you think I might uh, be good at or that are true to my style, I should say. Feel free to write those down in the comments um and i would love to hear what your guys' goals are for 2022 um yeah it's, it's just it's I'm, I'm on the spot i didn't write anything down because i wanted to be like true to what i was speaking about um so i'm sure i have like a million more goals um and i don't like the word resolution necessarily like i don't write out resolutions but i do have things like i would like to accomplish within the next year and if i do then i do and if i don't if I, I, I don't um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoy this winter season and are getting to spend time with people you love, whoever that may be. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
solving Christmas mystery. It's a low light serenade. It's a strange holiday. And I find my mind is somewhere worlds away. There's an endless cavalcade on the street. I took some money to the mall 